Omaji, I think you got your message loud and clear. The rotary also needs to keep knocking on the IIT door a little more often to get some results. Obviously, we all look up to IIT for a lot of things, and uh, since it's getting such a problem area worldwide, uh, we will definitely keep knocking on your doors. You have given us your number, so I think we'll store it in the hotline situation and keep calling you on that. Thank you so much for the really insightful and very frank answer. It's really important for people to know that until and unless you see diabetes on a death certificate, it's not going to really kick you and say, this guy, you know, this is a killer disease. Whereas it's a part to every killer disease today probably. Yes. Doctor, you wanted to say yeah, something? I just wanted to say, as a pathologist, you know, we conduct a lot of postmortems during our studies. And uh, when we get the cause of death, death actually, when you go through a postmortem report, you will find a lot of reports saying that, you know, cardiac arrest or myocardial infarction in a patient with diabetes, we actually write the pathogenesis which culminates in the death. But what happens is, this is just a little off uh, what we are discussing. In routine practice, when a practitioner is called to give a cause of death, they only give the immediate cause of death. So that is why they just write cardiac arrest. I mean, nobody dies without a cardiac arrest. Your heart has to stop. But that is usually given as either terminal cardiorespiratory failure or cardiac arrest. Well, that is not the cause of death. We have to, you know, probably even uh, educate doctors so that finally when you are studying a trend or when people read the cause of death, it seeps into their brain that ultimately diabetes has caused the death. So what you said was really a very, very relevant point and I really appreciate that.